Credit unions and banks, banks and credit unions. Is there really a difference? Yes. In fact, there are several big factors that separate these two. So let's dive in. When it comes to banks versus credit unions, there are three main differences. Ownership, objective, and operation. Credit unions are owned by their members, which means they have a say in how the credit union operates. Because they are a not-for-profit, the credit union has a volunteer board of directors that acts as the voice of the members. With a bank, there's no such voice for the customer. A bank is for profit, so all of the decisions are designed to make as much money as they can for their investors. Also, keep in mind that credit unions have members rather than customers. That's because they're a part of the movement once they've joined a credit union, not just a bank account number. Both banks and credit unions have the same main objective, and that's to serve the financial needs of their customers or members. What's different is how they accomplish that. Since credit unions are not-for-profit, once their expenses and costs to operate are covered, they return the leftovers, called dividends, to their members in the form of lower interest rates on loans and fewer or no service fees. Banks, on the other hand, do not return leftover income to its customers since their objective is to make a profit. They do this by pushing higher interest rates on loans and more service fees. Credit unions are focused on customer service and building relationships with their members. Since credit unions are local to their membership base, their concern is not only on their financial needs, but also on the needs of their community and local charities. Banks are less concerned with getting to know their members and more focused on promoting their services. They want to offer the most services and quickly get their customers in and out for the sake of, you guessed it, money. Well, there you have it. Some of the biggest differences between banks and credit unions. So let's sum it up. If higher loan rates and fees and impersonal service sounds appealing, banks are the way to go. However, if a financial institution that wants to know their members personally, hear their voices, cares about their community, all while offering low interest rates and fees, then a credit union is the place to be.